puzzle solving video. That's right, thanks to a really, really kind viewer called John. I have this super relaxing and super fun puzzle that I first saw on TikTok. You all know I love my puzzles. <laughs> and so this puzzle is called a well it's called a super slide by Kiker. And it is a handheld console for sliding puzzles. So it's like a sliding puzzle that is like a mini uh, device. So it's pretty cool. And as I said, this was gifted by one of you very kind viewers called John. So a big thanks to John who actually got this from my throne wish list. So huge thanks to John and actually another viewer called Bam Guy also got me this very lovely black mat that you can see in the background. So hopefully a combination of both of these uh, should help you fall asleep tonight, along with some whispered puzzle solving. So again, a big shout out to John and to Bad Guy for the very kind gifts. And if you are ever wanting to support the channel in terms of gifts, uh, such as props, equipment, and much more, uh, there is a link to my throne wish list in the description, but do not feel like you have to go out and do this. It's just there for those who would like to support the channel, such as John and Bad Guy. But anyways, if you guys do enjoy tonight's video, why not consider dropping it a big thumbs up? And if you want to see more puzzle videos like this, then why not? Consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's open up this puzzle. So, I've not opened it yet. This is exactly a game that says it's for 6 plus. So, hopefully, we should be okay with this. We have a nice view of it on the front. On the side, we can see it's an interactive console with 500 plus built in games in steps learning there's also time limit challenges and it is a retro handheld design which is pretty cool you guys can get this off amazon as you just saw and yeah there's a little bit on the back that kind of shows what everything is so it looks like it's actually magnetic as well so that's pretty cool and it does involve some batteries so hopefully it comes with some if not i will quickly pop some in Let's open this up. There we go. And we'll take this on out. Here we go. And it looks like it comes with some extra pieces inside as part of the box. So there's these extra pieces here by the looks of things. And it's reminds me of Rush Hour, the way there's different types of pieces, and it's a bit of a sliding puzzle similar to that, so, and then there's also uh, a user manual, but I believe I pretty much know how to use it from, you know, just seeing TikToks and things, so, anyways, let's pop all these off to the side and we'll take off the wrapping on this 
this, which is always super satisfying, as you all know. So let's do this. also one on this little screen here. Let's take this off very carefully because this is a digital puzzle. Very nice. Okay, this is such a cool device. Very cool. So it looks like we also have these blue pieces, uh, which I am struggling to take off. I don't know if there's some sort of technique. that I guess. So we have all these kinds of pieces, these yellow ones, blue ones which are like double the length of the yellow ones. And the magnet makes a little sound inside. And of course there is this big red one which I believe is the main sliding piece and it's the one that is always involved in the puzzle. And it's actually mag magnetized to the device. So if I was to just turn this upside down, if I'm like traveling or something, this would not fall out. So it'd be very good to uh, travel with. So let's see, can I turn this on? Doesn't seem it, but we'll make some sounds with the buttons and then I'll go and get some batteries. So let me go and get some batteries and then we'll get going. Okay, so I have gone ahead, loaded this guy up with some batteries. Let's power it on. And there we go. We get a little, get a little puzzle set up all ready for us. So I believe with these buttons, we can go between the puzzles. So what is that like? Puzzle number one, puzzle number two, puzzle three. And I'd assume like the, the difficulty will get more and more advanced as they go. Now, I said I wouldn't use the user manual, but I want to see if... Um, so basically, I think I'll actually go through this page with you all because this is the how to play guide how to play the target is to shift the big square block to the exit automatic detection zone without lifting any of the puzzle blocks. So as you can see we have this red piece here and we've got to try and get it to where this piece here is, this empty target zone is, without taking out any of the pieces. There's uh, different types of blocks. Of course, we have the big block, the small block, and the rectangular block. And to set up the game, uh, we select a game first, follow the instructions on the LED screen to set it up, and then I think we can pretty much just go game set. And then that's them just explaining how to play. Now, I do think I want to mute this. So I'm going to long press the L button and C button at the same time for two seconds. And that should hopefully... Yeah, just because I don't want it to be loud. Okay, well, let's go ahead and set this up. So it seems like the red piece goes in the bottom right, uh, bottom left, sorry. And then we want to put some of the smaller pieces, the yellow pieces. 
is this book called? Um, arranged like so. And there's going to be a couple of empty slots at the top here. So we'll do empty slots. is number one. It's probably going to be uh, quite easy. <laughs> so let's see. We want to get this to here. So we're going to need to shift this to the side or up. Well, I can see I can shift it up by doing this. But we need to shift it up one more so we can just move this to the right. Move this up. Move this up again. Voila, we completed it. And then there was a nice little animation there, uh, as it wants us to do the second one. So we'll do the second one just to see how things are. Um, and also because it seems like we've pretty much already got it set up to do so. Like this. So, this is the, yep, that's correct, the second puzzle. So this time, moving this up would not be very useful because um, we want to move it down. So I think we probably want to move this across, bring this up. first so we can bring this up this up and this up now if we bring this to the side we've got this aligned it just needs to go down which we can do so by filtering these across and then there we go oh my goodness this is so fun <laughs> it's so satisfying sliding the blocks Hopefully you find it nice and satisfying too. Let's see if there's maybe something that explains where the uh, tricky levels start or if there's, you know, a particular uh, point. Um, doesn't seem it. It seems like... Oh, hang on a minute. There's a challenge mode learn mode as well. You can press L button for two seconds to enter learn mode. But we know how to play. So we can play challenge mode. When the game is set, long press the C button for two seconds to enter challenge mode. Sorry, you guys can't read this. Uh, there we go. To enter challenge mode of the current game. In the challenge mode, users have to start solving uh, after the three second countdown and finish before all the LEDs turn out. The system will give a rating based on the solving time. Ah, okay. So, score. It spells out score there. Oh no, it doesn't. It spells out S A B C D E. Ah, that's really cool. Okay. Well, let's skip to maybe puzzle, let's go number seven, because that's my favorite number. So let's arrange it like this. So we have one piece up here, and the red piece there. And then we're going to have some pieces up here, like this. Another yellow, or am I just missing something? Oh, I'm missing something. This is supposed to be here. And then we have our first, or 
horizontally placed rectangle. So if I press the C button for two seconds, it will count down from three, and then we have to solve it as quickly as possible, and it will give us a rating, either S being the best, A, B, C, or D, or it will give us a failure. So let's see how we do. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, so I think I want to get these out the way. Slide this on over. But my issue is, is I want to get this up. So maybe like this, and then bring these down. Uh, bring that across. Oh no, I failed. I failed. <laughs> wow. Maybe because seven is meant to be an easy puzzle, I'm supposed to solve it even faster. Well, that wasn't great. Um, <laughs> what do I do after? Let's see, we're still learning this together. I'm sure this will be a, a great game to maybe play on stream. Short press. Um, to exit and return to the game. There we go. Yikes. Okay, we'll give it another go. We'll give it another go because I feel like I can still do that. I feel like I can definitely do this one. Within the time limit. I don't know if it like maybe counted down. I wasn't paying too much attention. I was too busy trying to work out my tactics. But we'll get it this time. We'll get it this time. Let's see. Okay. Are we ready? Three. So let's move this across, get this up. Ah, yes, so it is counting down, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh, no. This is definitely not right, is it? Oh, my goodness. What? I failed again. This is tricky, right? Let's give it a go. Um, without, you know, timing ourselves. Because I feel like maybe if I strategize, which is one of my favorite things to do, just strategize. And maybe I'll be able to solve it. So let's grab this piece here and pop it there. Make sure I've actually set it up correctly. Yes, so let's, let's just try and do it without challenge mode. So, uh, this bit here is confusing me. We obviously need to move that up. It cannot be on the bottom two lines. So we need to slide it on up. Or is it maybe... We slide it across here. Like this. And then we bring this down. Uh, I think that might be what we're supposed to do. Because now I can slowly start to move everything around. And as you can see now. No. We've solved it. Okay, so with a little bit of time. I managed to do it maybe. We'll do one more challenge, but I'll make it a slightly easier one, like maybe number five. So whatever this is, we'll do a challenge mode on this. And then we'll just go back to solving it. Not in challenge mode. Because, after all, this is an ASMR video. We're not here for any speed runs or anything. Although I'm sure this is something I'm sure me and my brothers will get very competitive at. There'll be one of us saying, oh, I got an S on level 20 or something like that. Also, if you guys have this puzzle, let me know your thoughts on it. There we go. That is correct. Okay, do I, I think I, I'm gonna allow myself to look at it first. Plan a strategy. So, it needs to come maybe down through the middle here. Or if, if I move these two up, I can maybe move some across. 
house. See, I feel like that'll just take this all the way around the bottom, which is not what we want to do. But we have to move the red piece somehow, and the only way I can think of doing it is maybe moving it straight down from where it currently is. That's what I'm going to go for. Okay, right. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go, go, go. So let's move this. Uh, gosh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not what I want to happen. Wait, we're nearly there, I feel. We're nearly there. I'm so close. I'm so close. All I have left is just rotating a few more things. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Rotating a few more things. And there we go. I would have had it. I would have had it. Oh, I can't do the challenge mode. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? It's so fun though. I tell you what, what we'll do then, because I'm really bad at the challenge mode. Um, oh, so that's 13. Okay, let's do number 15. 1, 5, 15. So let's get one with a good mixture of things here. Oh gosh, that's a cool shape. Right, so what do we need? These going down the side here. Can get rid of these. gonna have the red piece up the top, yellows at the bottom, and then we're gonna have two yellow pieces, or blue, why did I say yellow, I meant blue, but green, because they're sideways, like so, and we're gonna try and solve this without doing a little speed run, so let's take a look. I feel like if I move everything across, we get the red piece over one. Move everything across again, and I can slide these across. Bring this down. One. Slide this all up. Bring this down again. And again, it's kind of just, you know, the process of bringing it across. In fact, I want to bring it to the middle first here. And there we go. Very nice. Very nice. I feel like I could go back and do number seven on challenge mode. I feel like I could. I'll do one more practice one here. And then we'll go back and try and do number seven again. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is so fun. I definitely want to do this in like a long video. Maybe let me know if you guys want to see like a long one hour version of this. Or maybe a stream someday where I do this. Let's try to do this one here. So, uh, I'm going to do this. Because I want to do this, but that's clearly not what I meant to do. What if we just move everything around? Slowly like this. And then like that. So now we just need to get it to the middle. See, some of them I do so quickly. It's it's just number seven. <laughs> number seven didn't like me. Nine, eight, seven. Right, we're giving this another go, everybody. We're giving it another go. You, you'd think I'd have learned by now how to do it, but trust me, I'll still struggle. I'll still struggle. <laughs> so I'll set this up. like this. We have one here. Alrighty, this is it, our ultimate challenge. The entire video has led to this moment to hide away SMR in the kind
Hiker Slate Puzzle Championship, solving puzzle number seven on challenge mode. We are going to begin in three, two, one, go, go, go. sleep.